Welcome to Lecture 31. Uh, this will look a good bit like uh, Lecture 29, but there is a difference, and so pay close attention. Here we're going to uh, review the design of synchronous circuits, and uh, we're going to jump right into our test. Uh, what we're challenged to do is the following, and, and uh, this challenge is a little bit different from any that we've considered before, so uh, pay careful attention. In this case, we want to design a sequential circuit that outputs a 1 if the two most recent inputs were the same and 0 otherwise. Uh, as usual, you may assume that there have been previous inputs and, uh, and that all these were 0. <clears throat> So notice then that uh, what we're saying here is that there are actually two cases in which we want to output a 1. And that is if the two most recent inputs were both 0, because they were the same in that case, or if the two most recent inputs were 1, then it, and again we want to output a 1. <clears throat> but if uh, the last two inputs were either 0, 1, or 1, 0, then in those cases the last two inputs are different from each other, and so we would want to output a 0. So this is different from any of our previous cases, because in our previous cases we only wanted to output a 1 for one particular sequence, uh, either 1, 0, or 0, 1. But now we want to output a 1 for two different sequences. If the if the sequence zero zero is detected or the sequence one one if 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 either of those sequences matches the two most recent inputs, then we don't want to output a one, and otherwise we want to output a zero. Uh, so uh, we'll define state def the, the our, our, our states in the uh, usual way for these problems, and. Uh, the questions are exactly what you would expect. I'm asking you to decide which of these transition tables is correct. Here's uh, A and B, C and D. Which of those transition tables is correct? And uh, for uh, 31.2, what excitation table is correct and here notice that we're assuming that A is the output of a T flip-flop and B is the output of a D flip-flop okay so this uh, once again I want to stress here that A and B we're using different kinds of flip-flops A is the output of a T flip-flop B is the output of a D flip-flop so we'll call the input to these flip-flops T sub A uh, and D sub B. And you see um, the uh, four possible excitation tables. Here's excitation table A, excitation table B, excitation table C, and excitation table D. And you need to decide which one is correct. And then 31.3 uh, will be given in class. Uh, and you can expect that it will have something to do with... Um, finding a, function, uh, a minimal sum expression for uh, TA or, uh, and or DB and or the output Z. And uh, actually I say a minimal sum expression, but who knows, maybe it'll be minimal products, so be prepared for that as well. Uh, so that concludes this test, and good luck.